Welcome to Taking Stock. I'm Amanda Lang. Coming up on the show today, interest rates are likely to stay high for a while. Are we ready for that? And creative new ways to get homes built and paid for. Plus, 100 top scientists offer advice on climate change. That's all ahead. First, for the week that was in business, it's time for the briefs. Inflation in Canada continues to cool, clocking in at 2.8 percent in February as price increases at the grocery store slowed and other prices, including for new cell and internet plans, fell. The continued decline in the pace of inflation has stoked hope for a cut in interest rates as soon as June. Inflation on housing costs remains the biggest component, but it is also the most reactive when rates do fall. Meanwhile, in the U.S., the central bank opted to hold its interest rates level at its latest meeting this week. A report last week showed the U.S. inflation rate rose to 3.2 percent in February after gaining 3.1 percent in January. It's dampening hopes that the U.S. central bank can cut rates anytime soon. Meanwhile, the housing market remains in a plateau. The Canadian Real Estate Association reported sales for February that dipped more than 3 percent, while prices remained level. Year over year, the volume of sales was sharply higher, but that was thanks to terrible year-ago performance. February 2023 was one of the worst months in decades for real estate sales. Canadian cancer drug firm Fusion Pharma is being acquired by Britain's AstraZeneca for three and a quarter billion dollars. Fusion has promising cancer treatments that target cells more specifically and leave healthy tissues less damaged. The purchase is one of several moves by Big Pharma to acquire promising cancer biotech companies recently. Well, that was easy. Canada's big three telecom CEOs were called to appear before a government committee to defend high-priced wireless plans. The CEO said wireless is in fact getting cheaper in Canada, which might have seemed laughable until StatsCan inflation data supported their case. 20 plus percent declines in the pricing of new plans in February helped drive headline inflation lower. Small businesses were struggling with high rates at the end of last year, and that sent the number of insolvencies up 41 percent. There was also a more than 14 percent jump in businesses that missed a payment on a loan, according to Equifax, as continued high rates and the repayment of pandemic era business loans in January put stress on many. And those are your business briefs. Seeing inflation cool again is welcome news for all, and it could mean interest rates follow. But when could borrowers expect relief? Pedro Antunes is chief economist at the Conference Board of Canada. Pedro, great to see you. Thanks. It's a pleasure. So I won't I won't put you on the spot uh, with any kind of bold prediction about exactly when the Bank of Canada will go. But I think it's safe to say that anybody thinking we go back to, say, 2 percent rates might be disappointed. What are you thinking about kind of where we might settle in on that overnight rate and how it affects all of the other lending rates in the country? Well, uh, you know, rates have come up nearly 500 basis points uh, as we tightened. Uh, I think the thing that uh, we need to be aware of is probably we're going to see a decline, only a half of that, uh, and that will take some time. I think the bank is going to be very prudent in its approach to uh, lowering rates. Uh, and the hope is that we will start to see some of that happening at the second half of this year. Um, and, uh, you know, the other thing I think that's important to note is there's still some risk. You know, we're still really not quite there yet on, on inflation. Mm -hmm. We're making progress, but uh, we're not there yet. What are you watching on that front? We did see some food prices even decline. Uh, the uh, Overall, the grocery store prices are down. Uh, they're still gaining, but they're, uh, you know, two plus percent, which is better than we've seen recently. What are you most closely keeping an eye on? to say inflation will actually get under control? Well, I, I think possibly from the Bank of Canada's perspective, really what they're concerned about is kind of this wage uh, push inflation. Uh, and uh, that's really based on expectations. So, and I think ex inflation expectations, people are still seeing inflation quite high, even down the road. Uh, so I think that's one of the factors that the bank will be looking to. It's really about convincing both employers and employees uh, that we are going to get inflation down to that 2%. And thus, you know, the, the kind of the wage negotiations should settle in around that. Um, so I think that's part of the story that uh, is going to, you know, push the bank to be a little more careful, uh, possibly on the way down here. It does feel as though we may have uh, kind of skirted the worst of a really sharp downturn, that if we get a slowdown, it's going to be a really tepid one. Would you agree with that? And, and should that start to make people feel a little bit more confident, both businesses and individuals? 
Well, I, I do hope that the worst is behind us, but you know, if you compare just to the U.S., the U.S. has done really remarkably well through this high in interest rate uh, environment. But in Canada, I think there's uh, some underlying weakness that's kind of masked by the strong growth in population. If you look at consumer spending uh, on a per household basis, it is really quite weak. We're uh, you know really getting hammered by these high interest rates a lot more so than in the U.S. So I would say uh, yes, our monetary policy is definitely working. We're on the right path. Hopefully the worst is, is behind us, but it's, uh, you know, we, we can't ignore the fact that a lot of households uh, have taken it on the chin here. Pedro, so good to have you for this. Really appreciate it. You're welcome. Pedro Antunes is Chief Economist at the Conference Board of Canada. Coming up, new and creative ways to get homes built and bought. Stay with us. <laughs> 